Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. It's uh, two hours before the start of games here in the United States for week eight of the NFL. First, let me say this. For those of you who have bought picks at DwyerSportsBetting.com, I have a new pay channel here on YouTube for the gambling hardcore. It's Dwyer Sports Betting, right? I'll continue to maintain a free site where I give free boxing picks and where I give free football picks from time to time. But for hardcore gamblers looking to save money on the uh, rates being charged at DwyerSportsBetting.com, you can actually just subscribe monthly on that YouTube pay site. It's um, Dwyer Sports Betting. It's a YouTube channel. Now, as I make this video, just some quick news for gamblers. Right? In Europe, right now, two hours before the start of games here in the United States, Atlanta is up 21 nothing on Detroit. Right? Understand Nick Farley has been knocked out of the game. Right? You need to monitor Nick Farley's health because that impacts Detroit's defense. Understand, too, Reggie Bush not playing, Calvin Johnson not playing. Now, Atlanta is an interesting team because that division is a weak division, right? Look at the lead team, Carolina, right? Look at the underachieving teams in that division, New Orleans, right? These are teams that the mainstream media has written off, but they still have a chance because the divisional winner will be in the playoffs. Now, Atlanta, all I could say is this. If they win this game, understand their next two games are on the road, one at Tampa, the next at Carolina. Then they have home games against Cleveland and Arizona. It's possible that the Atlanta Falcons are still in the hunt for the divisional title, right? Don't listen to pundits. Look at the schedule yourself and just ask yourself, is playing Tampa at Tampa winnable? especially with Tampa actively shopping wide receiver Vincent Jackson. Let's talk about some other games, information that might be relevant to gamblers and to fantasy football owners. It looks like Cincinnati's A.J. Green is not going to play. According to reports, it's highly unlikely that he plays. Understand his injury is the kind of injury where he could have setbacks. Right? So, A.J. Green looks like he's an out. Understand, too, they're playing a tough Baltimore team, right, that could get a huge leg up on that division if they're able to beat Cincinnati in Cincinnati today. Also, Houston. Jadavian Clowney is back. That pass rush is going to be much improved. They have a winnable game. Keep an eye on Jadavian Clowney. In New England, it looks like Shane Vereen will play. In Tennessee, according to reports, the team has made a decision not to cut running back Sean Green. Right, so Sean Green remains on the roster. Keep in mind, I know Tennessee has started slow, but just understand their coach, Ken Wisenhunt, is an offensive guru. He was the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals when the Cardinals got to the Super Bowl, right? Wisenhunt, first year head coach with Tennessee, you would expect to see the offense improve as the season progresses. Let me hear from you if there are other news tidbits, late breaking pieces of news that you want to share with the football community, the gambling community here on YouTube. I hope you do so in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.